So, it's Mr. Few the Aquarium Dude, Marilyn, and our assistant Theo, back with you to Aquascape the next 30 gallon aquarium. So, as you can see, the first one worked out fine. Got the figure eight puffer in there, the African driftwood. I think it looks great, but man, those tannins are just constantly being leached out. So, uh, I think it looks good when you walk in, but I know puffer fish prefer a little higher pH. So, I keep doing water changes. Uh, we're going to be using some fluorite, uh, just natural substrate. Uh, it's really porous, and so <laughs> nitrate, phosphorus. What's so funny? Porous. <laughs> the nitrate, phosphorus, you know, all the nutrients will be absorbed into here. Uh, I got just some natural rocks here that uh, I'll be using. This one's really cool. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be using those to aquascape. Got a few different plants, some um, wisteria. I'd love to get more of this dwarf hair grass. This is all they had, but if you remember those repins, I only had one pack of those. They got huge, so it'll spread out, and then uh, an Anubius. Uh, so, we'll be taking these apart. I'll be taking out the quarries, the rasboras. I just got these uh, mm, about a week ago, and so those will go in there. Uh, all these Endler babies, these females, if you remember, they were up in one of the other tanks. I moved them down. They'll actually go into that tank that has a bunch of them already. And uh, hopefully I'll find my eel. I have not seen them in a while. One problem with these leaves is it's really hard to find them. And so I used to kind of hand feed him bloodworms. I'm sure he's doing fine. He'll eat the uh, some of those babies. So hopefully I'll find him out, clean these tanks out, and get going. So dudes, come along for the ride. have been cleaned out. I'll let those dry out, put them back up on that rack. All of the um, uh, Harlequin Rasboras, my eel, I did find, very happy to see him. Uh, I will kind of make a special aquascape spot with him in mind. All the endlers have been put in that tank. Why don't you get a good look at how many are in there. I actually use some of those as feeder fish for my flower horn uh, and they get along really well with my uh, betta. So he's uh, he's Chill. doing good. <laughs> and so what we're going to do now is rip these bags open, pour them into here, just give them a quick rinse. That way any dust or anything, if you remember just like from this one, we got all that kind of fine grain stuff that just clouds up your water. So we'll get those cleaned out, start pouring them in there, get all our plants, our, our hardscape stuff uh, in there, and uh, let's keep it moving. dudes the water's cleared up quite a bit it's not all the way clear and it won't be it will probably take a couple days uh, I added a hang on back filter you know, just with um, some really fine floss so it'll really kind of pick up those particles our first inhabitant is going to be our tire track eel here let me get a little light on him and so as you can see he's not very happy he just ate a blood worm I figured uh, it's hard to feed him with all those endlers, so before I put him in, figured I'd give him one. And so let's, uh, I wanted him to be the first one because he's a little shy. I kind of want to see, um, with plenty enough time, uh, where he's going to go. So you want to come down here? And there's some debris going out, but I'm not worried about that. Not 
It's like I'm still digesting that blood line. <laughs> Yep, I really that this rock pile pile was inspired to to uh, think of some places he could hide and feel comfortable where I could see his head. And uh, you can see his, his tail still hanging out, but uh, he'll be able to work in through all those rocks, and he'll know it like the back of his hand in a couple weeks. All right, next up is our six Harlequin Rasboras, and I've seen them in a ton of videos. They really color out so much when they're older. Uh, and so I'm super excited to have some. Uh, as far as tetras go, or sorry, as far as fish go, they're very similar to tetras. Uh, schooling fish, you want to have more than six. Really good community fish. You're home. All right, next up is a red-eyed tetra. And so this is a big old uh, female that I've had for at least four years. She's the last one. And uh, so I figured maybe she'll learn how to fish again. She's kind of lonely. And I'm hoping these harlequin rasboras will accept her. Or at least they'll get along. Oh, I didn't think a jump. All right, dudes, the last fish to go in is five peppered quarries. And we actually bred these uh, from eggs that we had in the school tank. The heater went out, and these, uh, in just the really cold weather over winter break, uh, just started spawning them. And so we got five of them we're going to put in here. I'm worried with how dirty the uh, uh, substrate is, that they're just going to stir it up and stir it up and stir it up. So they're really the... Uh, motivator for me to put this hang on back filter in here. They're my favorite uh, fish. I love like the turquoise color of them. Yeah, they shine really good in the right light. Perfect. All right, dude. So we're gonna let it clear up, and uh, we'll give you an update here in a. Uh, all right, dude, it's been about four or five days since we set up the tank and wow We're starting this video off at a perfect time before he decides to go back in uh, I got some blood worms to feed him on camera, so I thought I'd need those to get him out uh, but uh, It's been about four or five days. You can see the water is cleared up so much uh, This hang on back filter. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on there forever as you can see the water levels low because of the eel and so when I get a tight forming lid this is going to be an issue. So I really just set it up there to get the water clear. As you can see though, those sponges are really red. And look how much red is just stained up. It's really basically clogged that pinky floss up in four days. So that pinky floss is a great job of clearing out the water, but also clogs up quicker. Uh, but Marilyn, what is your favorite part of this aquarium? Um, I really like how we have the rocks in one area and then the grass over here kind of is a different layout. Mm -hmm. I really like the diversity of the tank too. We have a lot going on with the rasboras, the quarries, and the eel. And I think it's hard to pair up fish and like this is a good trio. I agree. It is a perfect setup. I think we have a great little home for the eel. He swims amongst those rocks. The quarries have plenty of surface. This grass, we got dwarf hair grass that'll spread out but stay low. But these will get, you know, really tall up to the top and we'll be trimming them. So the older this tank gets, the better that look will get. But I do love those rocks for our eel. Um, one thing I didn't show you is our, what's it called again, Marilyn? Pothos. Pothos. So it's one of our longer pieces. It's really uh, a great root structure. It will take some of the nutrients away from these. But these are really heavy root feeders, so they don't really take a lot out of the water column. Uh, and as you can see, one grass flipped out. But those quarries are going to dig some of them up as we go. So I wanted to do a couple things live. At, I'm going to pass the camera over to Marilyn. She can kind of record what she wants. And I'm going to take these sponges out and just run them, wring them out for a second. So Marilyn, you show them a couple things that you like about the tank. It might take a second to 
Sorry, but I want to see, show you how much of that stuff it'll take out. Check that out. So it's hard for you to, oh, I just squirted it on the glass. Hard, maybe harder for you to see. I get in the light there. That is a lot of sediment to get out of the water in, in three or four days. And like I said, that pinky floss got a lot out too. And as I replant things that, you know, that's not the first piece of grass to pop out in these few days. It just stirs up a ton of dirt. So if you remember from that package, it's fluorite natural. And I read online after the reviews that the black uh, is not as dirty, but I really like this color. Marilyn, what do you think about the color? I like it too. It looks really good with the rasboras because they have like the red tones in them and the little black stripe on them. And that's kind of what's going on with the substrate is a lot of red with some little bit of black in it too. It's cute. I agree. So the next thing I wanted to show you is give give this guy a worm let's see if he, and i'm gonna make him come out a little bit he really didn't get fed as well as uh he did before i put him in that uh um that 10 gallon when for a long time he had a tank all to himself with just some baby endlers and i knew where he was he was always in the coconut and so i could easily get him some worms but once i put him in that tank with the leaves i, I couldn't find him very well and so he's gonna munch up on those I'm gonna give a big cluster to a bunch of them. I really like the flow. I think the quarries appreciate it with that hang on back. And uh, uh, I love the sponge filters. If you look down that filter right there, or sorry, that air pump right there uh, is what runs the filters for all these tanks. So if you kind of pan around and look, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 sponge filters running off of one pump. And so it just makes it so much more energy efficient to have that. So, you know, I like it, but one drawback is you don't get that awesome flow going across it. Um, so dudes, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll show you guys some, uh, some more stuff about it as you request it. But I am going to sit here with my fiance and enjoy this mm -hmm. aquarium. So dudes, we'll check you later. Mr. Few the Aquarium, dude. Marilyn. Out.